I'm back, but on a different channel. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Homerton's channel. And I'm so honored to be joined with <laughs> our newest principal. And so we are here today to just film a really quick Q&A, a, okay. a university Q&A. And so... No tricky questions, right? Uh, I no... think the first one... Is it? No. We'll okay. see. We'll see. Let's head straight into it. Okay. So, question number one. Mm. Homerton's motto, look to the end, is what in Latin? I have no idea. I'm not going to oh. lie. I'm ah. not going to lie. I know I ought to. I know I ought to. <laughs> no, it's okay. Why actually, actually, I've got... Well, hold on one second. <laughs> I know the film's running. If I can reach this. Uh, I have got, I've got my Latin script here. Look oh, at that. for your... Um, for, yes, for some of the, the proceedings the I have to yeah. do. Oh. And so I'm learning. Okay, that's not, a, not quite Not quite there just yet. Oh, no, it's okay. I remember when we came, we had it written down for us. So it is Respicie <laughs> Finum. Finum? Finum, one of those. All right, I well, you know. know. It's you been know. years, <laughs> I should know, but clearly not. And I, and I will know when I'm not, when my yeah. first big session where mm. I have to do this. Yeah. I know it off heart. You'll know it off by heart. Off by I'll... heart. Okay. <laughs> and so the second question yep. is, Cambridge University is made up of 31 colleges. Yes. What are three things that make Homerton stand out? Wow. That's a great question. I would argue that it's a beacon of excellence. Mm. It is a bastion of diversity. Mm. And it is, and it aims high. High to be great human beings. Uh, not just the academic excellence. So they're the three things. And I can testify to those three things. <laughs> a, living, a living embodiment <laughs> yeah. of oh. those Homerton qualities. Yeah. Academic <laughs> excellence, a great human being. And with your, so. with your YouTube, with your you aiming high. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. I love that. Question number three. Yeah. Homerton is further out than other colleges. Mm. What's something you appreciate about the location? Well, there's great space. Mm. Um, and I'm hoping to watch some football. Mm. <laughs> Big football fan. Um, and I'll even, I'll even watch rugby. Oh. I'm not a big okay. fan, but I'm sure the rugby guys and, and women will convert me. Mm. We have a, you know, we have um, a beehive here. Mm. Did you know At that? At the back. At the back. I've never... Never been there. I've Are you afraid of bees? Of You're afraid of bees? I am? Me too. <laughs> I'm going to have that space outfit. I'll have the space outfit yeah. on. Go and get some honey. Yeah, harness some honey. Harness and, and so yeah. So okay. I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the space and seeing mm. the different the different um, quarters here mm. and just uh, just relishing it all. Okay, mm. and so that leads on to the next question, number mm -hmm. four. What's your favourite area on the Homerton grounds to unwind? Well, I'm loving my office. I mean, um, is this not an office to die for? This is. I feel I feel like that I need to do great things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I am behind the scenes right now. I've always seen the principal's office from outside, uh, but I have to say right now, like you, have, you, a good space. you but, have a good but space. But but look, uh, I'm privileged to have this great space. Mm. But that I really hope that many people pass through this door, from from this college, mm. to to talk, to plan. Mm. Uh, that it's not my office; it's our office. Mm. So that's my goal. Oh wow! That doesn't mean that everyone can come in every single minute. <laughs> everyone to come and have. <laughs> you did say, you did say, Mr. Principal, <laughs> I need to do some work, but but I want greater access mm. uh, uh, through that door mm. for the the Homerton family mm. and the the wider Cambridge uh, University family. Okay. Yeah. And. So, question number five is, who's your favourite writer? Favourite writer? I, I mean, there's so many, so many writers. Mm. I mean, I, I would say, I would look at some of my favourite books. Okay. Favourite and, book? And favourite book is Soli Sombra, the, the Love of Football. It's by a great academic called Eduardo Galeano. He mm. wrote The um, Open Veins of Latin America. Mm. And it's a book about football. Mm. But it's so poetic mm. that it's just a, just a die for. I also, I also like um, um, Dr. Martin Luther King. I told you that, that, that in our other conversation yeah. that I see myself as a disciple of Dr. King. Mm. Well, he wrote a book called um, uh, Great Strides to Freedom, which was the story of the uh, Montgomery boycott. Mm. 
To me, that's the Bible of, of civil, civil rights activism. What Keane did, I mean, people think about the, the Rosie Parks and the, and the, and the boycott. Mm -hmm. This boycott lasted for 18 months. The activism, the organisation, mm -hmm. the cost. Uh, King's house was firebombed. Mm -hmm. Another activist were firebombed. It's all in the book. And for me, it was a, it's, a, it's a Bible of how to organise. Mm. Um, and I think that the, the last book uh, that, I, that I read and, and cry every time I read it mm. is uh, The Old Man uh, uh, at the Sea, Ernest Hemingway's uh, book. I haven't read that. You've uh, just given me book recommendations oh right my now. Gosh. I'm going to go and It's one of those books, it's, it's, you know, mm. some people like reading, reading big books. This mm. is not, but it's incredibly moving. Okay, thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> Go check them out. Um, and question number six yep. is, what is your favourite quote? I don't have any favourite quotes. I mean, I, I like great orators. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the, the best orator alive today is Reverend Al Sharpton. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, uh, he's a preacher man, right? Mm -hmm. So like King, mm -hmm. they pulpit preach. Mm -hmm. And to listen to him, mm -hmm that the way that he moves people. Mm. Um, it's no surprise to me that he also sees himself as a disciple of Dr. King, because mm. King was the master, right? Mm. Mm. And, and I, I've taken one of his lines mm. and used it in one of my own, for one of my own lines. Mm. And I often say to people that we know that Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream, mm. but he had more than a dream, he had a plan. And I think that resonates. Mm. It resonates with a lot of people, and of course, uh, his, his great plan mm. was to politically empower African Americans mm. to register to vote, so they could be in a position where they're not asking for justice, mm. but demanding it, mm. democratically re demanding it. Mm. So yes, I, I like orators mm. who move people mm. to do great things. Okay. I'm so excited for you to do your speeches once your tenure Yeah. Is well, I've already started. Yeah, I, yes, I, I've already start, I've already started because I, we spoke to the we spoke to the, the freshers. Yeah. We spoke to the two hundred freshers, and I told the freshers uh, during my first speech mm. uh, that that together we're on a great journey. That they're freshers, and so am I. I'm a fresher <laughs> of uh, head. Yeah. This place, together we're on a wonderful journey. Mm. So uh, I hope it went down well. You we'll have to ask them <laughs> what, what they <laughs> felt. <laughs> speech with you. <laughs> Okay, question number seven yep. is what did you study at university and why? Um, Latin American uh, literature. Mm. That's how I got to go the, to know the, the Eduardo Galeano mm. and um, Garcia Marquez. Mm. Politics mm. And, and literature. So it was a bit of a mismatch. Mm. But it was, it was, I only studied things that I wanted to study. Okay. That I felt that I could be inspired by. And so, and we know, I've said that to students too, do what moves you, study what moves you, what excites you. Okay. I think you give a particular energy mm. um, when, mm. when you're excited by it. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Mm. And so, the next question is, did you live in halls or at home? Well, I was a mature student. I was okay. a mature student, so I was living at home. I mean, I, okay. I um, I'd lived out there for 10 years. Mm. So those students at halls were not, not eating well. They'd come to my place <laughs> and they'd say, you need some proper food <laughs> because, yeah. because, because you can't eat pot noodles back then. The students would eat them. <laughs> so I, I, would, I would feed them, I would feed yeah. them well. <laughs> so that moves on to my mm. next question. What was your favourite meal to cook at university? Oh, because well, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I was... I was also uh, learning Italian, okay. so I had this, I had this uh, love affair with Italian food, so I'd be cooking these wonderful pastas, Ooh. pesto and pastas and all these dishes, because okay. it was easy and relatively <laughs> inexpensive, okay. um, and, uh, and they would just think I'm the king, I mean, do, well, let's go to Simon's house, we'll have a few drinks and get well fed. Oh wow, I love that. And so that's what, leading <laughs> on to number 10, is yeah. I was going to ask if you'd seen any kitchen horror stories or... Oh, well I hope mine were not horror stories. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, did <Hopefully> no. <laughs> I did my best. I did my best. Put it this way, it was better than pot noodle. Yeah, what? <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> that they were eating. Steps. 
up. Step up. Um, question number 11 yeah. is more of an academic question. Mm-hmm. Do you like typing notes or handwriting notes? Uh, now I like um, typing. I mean, I, okay. I learned how to touch type. Okay. But, but I lament. I lament that, that, um, that you know, it kind of moved away from handwriting because a, a, a handwritten piece, a beautiful handwritten piece, mm. just looks the business. Mm. So I would say to students that please, 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 you know, learn how to, to do the, 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 yeah. the beautiful handwriting mm. because, you know, writing those letters every now and again mm. sets you apart. Uh, when, okay. you know, given that everybody's now doing it on, online and this yeah. and the other, you write a little note, mm. beautifully handwritten, mm. uh, to, to a potential employer mm. or to your head of house. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tip. That's a good tip. I'm going to be impressed. <laughs> okay. Remember that. <laughs> um, question number 12 yep. is a lecture you remember till this day. Oh, yes. I had an English teacher. An English teacher, and I, I wish I remember that name. But I remember she used to say to us when we were reading text, she used to say, I would like you to worry this like a dog worries a bone, she said. Like a dog, worry it like a dog worries a bone. I think it's a great turn of phrase. Yeah, I've never and heard of it. No, no, yeah. and, and I often say to people now that I want, <laughs> I want you to worry. <laughs> worry this like a dog worries a bone. Yeah. And she was a, a thing about studying uh, and teaching that if, if you, can, if you can illustrate, if you can demonstrate your passion mm. for the subject, mm. the, the students are like, they're in awe, they're in awe, they're looking, they're hanging on to your every word. Mm. And so, you know, give it your heart and soul. Mm. It's exhausting sometimes, mm. but it makes a difference. Mm. Okay. Uh, question number 13 is, what is the latest you stayed up to complete an assignment? What is that what? The latest you stayed up to complete an oh, assignment. Oh, yeah, no, I did all that stuff and I just, I, it's just the worst. I mean, pl- I mean, plan ahead. I mean, <laughs> learn from me. <laughs> Would you, you do no, but, around the No, clock, but you know, two to three or four in the morning. Oh, and, okay. I mean, some people, it might work. Yeah, but, night owls. But I don't think you do yourself justice. Mm. I think you do yourself justice if you plan it and then if you have the evening to go through it and correct it, mm. much better mm. than, than taking it to the white. Now, and I'm sure, I'm sure the, the, the students, where are you students, I'm sure some of you are going to be doing the midnight or all I'm saying to you is, <laughs> do your work justice. Yeah. You have all those great ideas yeah. and that having that, mm. having that extra half day those extra hours just to go over it and just to, just to polish it mm. can make all the difference. Mm. Uh, the, 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 the last minute cramming, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure that uh, <laughs> I'm sure there are better people yeah. more academically uh, able than me that can say it can work, mm. but it didn't for me. Okay, that's good advice, everyone. <laughs> no cramming. Um, question number 14. Yeah. Did you prefer coursework or exams? Oh, coursework. Oh, me too. Yeah, of course, work. So of course, work. I mean, I like the adrenaline in exams. Okay. But I. It's stressful. But no, I think I worried whether I did myself justice. In an exam. In an exam. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But in a coursework, I, a coursework, I, I could, I could, uh, I could give it all the energy that mm. and time mm. that that was needed. Mm. Um, but I like. I mean, I, I used to. I used to sprint. I used to, uh, you know, play football, and I like adrenaline. Okay. And you know, so I like the adrenaline of the of the exam, but okay. I'm not I'm not sure whether I was able to perform okay. at, at my best. Okay. Whereas I knew if I were running hundred meters, <laughs> you did. just go first place. Most first of, most of the time, I, was okay. a, I wasn't a bad sprinter. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, question number fifteen. Yeah. Do you remember your dissertation topic or title? No, I don't. It's okay. a long time ago. Okay. Uh, the one I did, when I did, when I studied in Colombia, mm. um, it oh. was about drugs. Okay. And uh, Colombia was a, a narco democracy mm. uh, and plagued, mm. plagued by um, uh, drugs. Mm. And so many people died and, and wars fought over territory and stuff. Mm. So I remember writing about that, uh, okay. I forget what it was called, but um, having lived there and saw the, 
the horrors of a, a narco democracy um, compelled me to write about it. Okay, wow, that sounds so interesting. Mm. And it sounds like you've had tons of life experience that you'll yeah. really let mm. shine through your yeah. tenure here. Well, I think the thing is, as well is that I was lucky to, to study abroad. Okay. And I hope that students here will have that opportunity. Mm. Because I think that, that part of learning mm. in a different country. Mm. I remember being in, um, where was I? El Salvador. Mm. And there'd been, a, there'd been a shocking civil war there mm. in the 90s. Um, and we were living in a, in a, in a space in which uh, we, to wash our clothes, we had to wash our clothes in the river. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can imagine, you know, you're coming from a Western society where washing machines or laundrettes. Yeah, laundrettes. And, and mm -hmm. hey, was I washing my clothes in the river? Oh, wow. but, but it just seemed to be a great leveller mm -hmm. and, and allows you to see the world through a different prism mm -hmm. in which you recognise, actually, we're pretty fortunate. Um, so you learn how not to take things for granted, mm. like turning on a light bulb or turning on a tap, yeah. and there's hot water. Mm. Some of these places, there were no water, you know. You, we, that, that, so it was a, a learning curve mm. and a great leveller. Okay, mm. wow. Um, so again, moving um, the topic on a bit, Question yep. number 16 is, what are three university essentials that you think every student must have? Good question. Mm. Essentials. Mm. Yeah. Humility. Okay. Humility. Okay. Don't think you're better than anybody else mm. as a person. Mm. Um, energy. Okay. I like that one. Be dynamic. I'll sleep. Be dynamic. <laughs> yeah. It's important. Ambition. Mm. Aim high. Mm. So I think if you have the aiming high with humility, what's not to like, right? Mm. Mm. Are they um, good enough, do you think? I think so, because <laughs> that's how also, looking back, how you make the most of your time here. It's, right. Time goes quickly, yeah. eight weeks yes. time. Yeah, humility um, though, top of the list. Yeah, number one. Number one. Um, question number 17 is something you worried about that you, find, that you found that you didn't have to worry about at all? Oh, so that's a great question. Oh. And for me, it's a simple answer. And that is, um, how, can I, how can I put this? Inferiority complex. Oh, okay. Feeling that you're not good enough. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome, or, yes. And, mm. and I think that race, class, mm. uh, all, all of that uh, collides. Mm. It's not true. Mm. Unshackle it. Mm. Disown it. Mm. Um, have a sense of belonging. Yeah. Purpose. Mm. So yeah, I think that's one thing I would say okay. to many students. Yeah. That, uh, to, that cut that off. Okay. Stop believing in yourself. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Do we get an amen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are preaching right now. Um, question number eighteen yeah. is one piece of advice you have to freshers relating to the mm. academic side? Maybe. Right, yeah, well, uh, I, I, I would say a number of pieces. One, you know, we just talked about the imposter syndrome. Mm. Own, own, your, own your skills, own your energy. Mm. And, and two, I don't, know, I don't know whether people say it enough um, in this hot house spaces, but I'll say it, mean it, enjoy it. Enjoy, take, take a deep breath. Enjoy. Enjoy, it. Enjoy it. Be in the moment. Mm. Be in the moment of, mm. of this wonderful journey, mm. uh, and, and you know, drink the, 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 the energy and the, mm. the, the potential that, mm. that, that you have here. Mm. Enjoy it. One of the things I'd recommended as an essential item yeah. was sticky notes uh -huh. because. When I had a really hard time in exam term, mm. I wrote on a sticky note and put this above my bed. Yep. Whatever you do, enjoy it. Enjoy it. So yeah. I think that's a really important yeah. piece of advice. We forget to do it sometimes, but you know, yeah. we're like all a bit tense and a bit nervous. Yeah, but yeah. enjoy it. Question number 19 mm. is, what is one piece of advice to freshers you have relating to the social side? Another good question. 
you know, we've said that we want students to enjoy themselves. Mm. And I think that's so. That's really, that's really true. Mm. Uh, I would say strongly um, look after each other. That really think about um, that when people are having a good time, sometimes we go a little bit over, overboard. Mm. That by looking after each other, you can you can suggest you can advise you can help people not to go over the top, yeah. not to be in a not to be in a, a poor place yeah. with themselves, yeah. whether, it's, whether it's drink or or um, in it, being not in control. Yeah. So in that social space, enjoy, yeah. look after each other. Yeah. That is a really important piece of advice, and we're so lucky here at Homerton. Mm that the community here, one of the reasons I applied is mm -hmm. because I'd seen online that people would say this is the friendliest college. Oh, yeah. And for me, it really does live up to that. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, question number 20 yep. is one piece of advice you'd give to freshers relating to like the personal side. So whether mm -hmm. it's about mental health right. or... Yeah. You know, one of the things that excited me about Omerton is, is, is the, the well-being mm -hmm. piece. And I think Cambridge too has really leaned into, really mm. leaned into that, mm. and um, we, we want people to 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 feel comfortable talking. Mm. Uh, uh, some of it will be problem problems, anxieties, mm. but we also actually there's another side of well-being about learning how to relax, mm. learning how to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And and so that that we want to be on the forefront uh, of not just, not just being there for people's challenges and problems, mm. but also people uh, learning how to have a good time, learning, and learning how to get the best out of themselves. Mm. Now, here at Homerton, and, I, and I'm, I'm pretty sure Cambridge University, we're really big on the wellbeing piece. Mm. Uh, we want people to enjoy themselves, mm. uh, but if they get into difficulties and anxieties, mm that we need to be a very, very safe space. Mm -hmm. but, e but even more than just difficulties, you know, there's just learning about yourself. Mm -hmm. Who teaches you how to relax? Mm -hmm. Who teaches you how to sleep better? Mm -hmm. I, I think when you're more relaxed, you can study better. Mm -hmm. When you have uh, enough sleep, mm -hmm. uh, you can perform better. Um, and we want to be a great space mm -hmm. for all of that. We've got a few plans. Oh, um, got to keep okay. things close to my chest. Okay. The really exciting plans on the well-being piece. Okay. But watch this space. Okay. Watch this space. <laughs> I will be watching. And our last question, question yep. number twenty-one, uh, is why is further education important? Oh, oh my gosh. Big question. You know, I was when I was um, as w I was working, and only in a fair bit of you know money actually, you know, wasn't doing too bad, mm. but I felt the need. I felt the need to, to be better educated. I felt the calling, the, the possibility of, of, of reading great books um, and, and learning more about the world, learning more about myself. For me, were some of the greatest steps that I've taken, along with studying and living abroad. And we have that all here. Uh, I'm not saying it's everything, but it's significant if you're fortunate enough to have that opportunity. And I think as that's one of the, the, the key reasons that why I was driven towards Homerton and wanting this role. I mean, you know, I, I love people, I love young people, but to see them in this space, going on this journey, uh, for me, is a great privilege mm. to be part of that team that can deliver an education that can be utterly transformative. Wow. <laughs> Do you want to um, come back? <laughs> Do you want to come back and study? We'll find a master's for you. <laughs> <laughs> master's program. PhD. <laughs> yeah, because at this rate, I need to experience your principalship. Sure. What? Wow. How, however that they phrase it, but yeah. I know it's going to be amazing, Thank you. and there is so much for not even current students to look forward to, but prospective students. I hope so. 
I hope when they watch this. We've got a great team. Yeah. We've got a fantastic team. Yeah. Uh, they are as enthusiastic, if not more, than I am. Mm. So um, I, I'm looking forward to the rest of this journey. Thank you so much You're more than for welcome. answering my questions. You're more than welcome. And thank you so much for joining us on Homerton's YouTube channel. Don't forget to head over to Cambridge's YouTube channel to join me in conversation with Lord Simon Woolley about Black History Month and his tenure as principal of Homerton College. Good. Thank you. Bye. Good.